In this video, we will explain filters. To filter activities, right click and choose filters. You can also select filters from here at the top. And you will have list of default filters. You can choose one or more filters in Promovera P6. Say for example, I want to filter critical and none started. You have also the option to show activities that match any selected filter or all selected filters. So here in this case, the Promovera will show me all activities that are critical and also non started. So it has to meet both conditions. So let's apply and see how it will look like. For critical activities, we have total fluid is zero. And also these are the activities that are not started yet. So let's change it again into any selected filter. So Promovera will show me all activities that are critical plus any activity that has not started yet, regardless it is critical or not, because Promovera will only filter any activity that has at least one of these conditions. Click apply and it will show me so all critical activities and also these activities, this group. So they are not critical, but they, they haven't started yet. That's why Promovera will show me as well. At bottom here, when applying the selected filters, what do you want Promovera to do? Replace activities shown in current layout, which means Promovera will hide any other activities which are not part of the filter, or Promovera will show all activities, but only highlight the filtered activities. So let's choose highlight activities. First, we have to show all activities, apply, then I want critical and none started. And I will select all filters so I can have selection of specific activities only and I will highlight activities. Click apply. So now it's all highlighted. So these activities which are not highlighted are not filtered. They do not meet the condition. My conditions here is to have activities that are critical as well as non-started. Both conditions have to be met. These activities haven't started yet, but they are not critical. Or you want to replace activities, which means Promovera will hide these activities. It will only show me the filtered activities. So click apply. And now I have the filter. Other activities are hidden. This is the most commonly used. So more most practitioners actually use this option. You just need to know the other option in case you wanted to use it. And let's create custom filter. So I click new. And let's say that I want activity. The start date is within range of 1st of September and 15th of September. Okay, and apply. Okay, we go and check. Okay, because 1st of September to 15th of September, it was a part of the foundation work. So I do not have a specific activity which has a start date from 1st of September until 15th because during this period from 26th of August until 23rd of September I am doing foundation work. So let's um, let's have another uh, filter. Let's say it is from 15th of September up to end of September. So I have got one activity here. And if you have larger projects and so many activities to deal with so maybe you can group and sort by and hide if empty so it will only filter this particular activity which has the selected filter so filters there are so many in these filters so let's um, let's have a wide range from 15th of september up to end of october So now I have more activities inside the filter. I want to also add an, an, another filter. So these activities are too many right now. And most of them start and finish in October. 
there are few activities in November. So I want to filter this as well. So I want to tell Promovera, filter for me activities that has a start in October, but finish of November. So go to filter. So you keep this filter as it is, add. I click finish is within range of first of November up to 30th of November. The start date will be during this period and the finish date will be during this period. Okay, and also the same as the default filter here. You can have these options, but they are shown here. Do you wanna show all of the following? So both conditions have to be met or just one of them is enough to filter. So it will, in this case, it will filter all activities here that meet this condition plus all activities that will meet this condition alone as well. But in my case, I want all filters. And okay, so now these are the activities that will finish in November, but start within the period I specified. So these are the filters. You can have more filters. It's up to you how much you want and you want to use the default ones or not. But be careful about choosing the selected filter. You want all of the conditions or just any one of the condition. And in the next section, we will talk about resources.